Okay, guys. <laughs> So now that I come in on here looking crazy, but that's just because I finished washing my hair. I just finished washing my hair and I cannot hear it in one ear. I'm trying to get the water to drain out. But anyways, it just sounds like a whole bunch of water in my ear. So I washed my hair because I finally want to try the Rev Air. So this is the blow dryer that was going all over Instagram. You guys know I do not blow dry my hair. One, because I don't like adding heat. I don't mind um, adding blow dry heat, like indirect heat. Mostly I'm just not going to do direct heat. I don't blow dry my hair mainly because every time I blow dry my hair, my hair feels brittle and it feels like it's going to break and it just feels like hay. And so I don't like blow drying my hair but I want to see if this is going to give me different results from a regular blow dryer I like that the fact that it stretches your hair so much that it is showing me my length so this is about the straightest you're gonna see on me based on how straight it gets so these are the things that my Rever came with and I do want to say that this was sent to me it was sent to me so I don't know if the things that I'm about to show you it comes with your order or if this is like the PR package, but I got this spray bottle. I also got some clamps. Then I have the, the regular tools that come with the blow dryer. In case I, I lose this somewhere, I have another one. I'm excited. Okay, so as you guys know, I have type four hair and I really have thick and kinky hair. The shrinkage is crazy. You guys already know that. So I'm just excited to see how, you know, how my hair comes out when I use this. I'm gonna spray this section with water first. Then I'm going to use a leave-in conditioner. I've never tried the Diva, Diva Curl leave-in, so I'm just going to do that. This is the Diva Curl One Condition Original Daily Cream Conditioner. I hope it works, y'all. And all the products that I'm using, I've never used before. I'm going to use a heat protectant as well that I've never used before. So this is the leave-in conditioner that I'm going to use in my hair. And then I'm going to use this heat protectant. Now, this is the first heat protectant that I saw. So I don't even think, I think that every time I get heat protectants, I give it away because I don't put no heat on my hair. So what do I need that for? I'm using a Silk Elements Mega Silk Olive Heat Protectant Spray. It looks like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and spray it on this entire section. Okay. And then I'm going to take a smaller section. So I'm going to use my brush and I'm just going to brush out any kinks I might have. And you guys see, my hair is thick. Let me read real quick. Anyway, I was in directions. I can't find them. So this is so weird. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm going to put it at six because I have really thick hair. And then I'm going to start off with low and see what happens. What the? This thing is not working. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think it's because I, I, I didn't press something on the plug. Hold on. Okay. It just lit up. So that means now it works. Okay, so this is even a light up thing. This green thing is a light up thing. So it lights up when it's on. But why is it blinking? Wait, it's blinking, y'all. So when I was setting up this thing, I left that apart and I think that's why it's blinking. So I gotta take this out. So I'm looking at that. See, this is why you gotta read directions because Lord, I did not know what I was doing. Okay, let's see if it works now. Oh my gosh, this thing is loud. Y'all, I need to start reading directions. I'm gonna put this on. trim honey but oh my goodness my hair sh straighten wow ah y'all y'all so i put it on low and then i put it on high um i saw uh, natural 85 whitney do it and so she said she put it on low at the bottom and then high and then went to the top put on low and high again so that's what I did and it really helps now it's it doesn't feel as brittle as when I usually blow dry it but it does feel a little bit dry with the next section I'm going to probably put in more leave-in conditioner and see if that helps with the dryness but so far a regular blow dry would not get my hair this straight like this is so cool 
if it's still dry after I do this leave-in conditioner, I'm going. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, do another section. <laughs> I mean, my hair is, ooh, look how long my hair is, like, boob length. Okay, so my hair is nice, but like, feels sticky. And I don't know, it's from the heat protectant. I'm gonna just do the rest of this section the way that I'm, I've been doing with the same products and stuff. And then for the next section, because I've already put the leave-in conditioner on this whole section, so I might as well just continue with this section. And then um, I'm going to see if I change the leave-in conditioner. And do I want to do no heat protectant? Because I don't know if that's what's making my hair sticky. Still getting a sticky feel. How my hair is looking. Okay, so in the direction she gave me, it said that coily hair is best at like five to seven. So I'm at six. Let me put it to five. Like I said, I'm gonna start with low, then high. Five is definitely less sticky, and it still gets my hair straight. So let me just go ahead and just twist this part up. But it's still sticky. You know, it's less sticky. And it doesn't feel brittle. I'm going to try the... These are products I've never tried before. The Mayo Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. I'm going to use that for my next section. I'm not going to use no leave-in, y'all. So I'm just going to add this Mayo Leave-In. And remember, it's on five on my hair. Okay, so this one doesn't feel sticky. Wow. This one actually feels really good. Okay, so I just got done with this section and my thoughts so far is I don't really like um and I don't even think it's this product. I just think my hair doesn't do well with like heat. Like my hair is like stiff. I don't know. I mean, I know I need a trim as well, but and it's not this because this blow dry actually made the process better and easier. Like my hair is not as dry, it's not as tangled, it's not as sticky um it's not as brittle like it feels like moisturized it just i just think that my hair just does not like heat as far as like the stiffness Ugh, i don't know i don't know so i don't i, I don't think it's this product well it's not this product it's more so my hair what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna put the leave-in conditioner and i'm gonna try to just do everything on low instead of high and see if anything changes and this is what i talk about learning your hair learning learn what your hair likes and don't like so i'm just gonna leave it on low I'm not even gonna do high and I'm just gonna see what it does to my hair yeah so clearly it's, it's not as straight on the top as the other pieces were so I'm just gonna do the high the low and high thing because leaving it on low is just not even working out right now okay so I turned the dial to four instead of five just to see you know if it'll make a difference and this section is actually much softer and feels way better than these sections this is way better it's not as tangled it's softer and it's fluffier like it, it feels it feels way better so i'm gonna do the, the the next section on four and then we're gonna see what comes out of it i'm just gonna go ahead and put some leave-in conditioner so it said like um with kinky coily hair the best setting is five to seven but like i'm seeing that i think four is the best for my hair and you guys know my my hair is really kinky so just keep that in mind like it, it does say start at two and work your way up to see which one is best but because they had already had a guide for what coily hair should be on i just went with that but um four is looking like a winner so i'm just um putting some heat protectant and i'm still doing the low high thing so Okay, so I'm finally done. I'm gonna take everything out so you guys can see. And then I'm gonna tell you guys my final thoughts. So let me just take. This section is by far better than this section. So I had to play with it 
and see you know what was the best setting i thought because my hair was so kinky that setting five and six and seven like they said for coily hair was going to be the best but honestly four did its thing as you can see it's not stiff or whatever like this is stiff this side is more stiff everything just is so much better of course like i still have like a bit of tangles that's just naturally my hair how it reacts to heat it just tangles up but my hair does not feel dry this side is way better so my setting is four that's just that's just the bottom line my setting is four my setting is not five it's not six wait it's like a little fluffier on this side but huh, honey is doing it so i like this side better this side is cool overall i do think i will use this again now it took me a while and i think like it, it took me a long time because i was recording to blow dry my hair but I, I honestly think that if i wasn't recording it would have went so much faster but yeah no like it makes me want to wet this side up and do it over but i'm not about to put that much heat on my hair let me do a limb check while i'm here anyway so let me know your thoughts on this tool if you tried it if this made you want to try it like i said you know this is my first impression so i really didn't know too much of what i was doing which is why one side looks funny and then the other side looks good let me know what you guys think in the comments below i would recommend this for type four hair i definitely think you have to play around to see you're not going to get it the first time i didn't get it the first time like i don't think you're going to get it the first time if you do you're lit but i didn't get it the first time i didn't get it the second and then you saw that i was trying different methods some i put the heat protectant and some i did not even change my leave-in i do give this a thumbs up and i do think that if you're somebody that blows dries your hair often especially with a dryer you will love this more so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video